Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here in Kenny's Custom Blog. Uh, today's subject, we're actually going to be talking about uh, one that I feel that I should have talked about a while back. Um, so the subject is how do you find out your pieces for your cavity. Uh, let's say you already know what cavity you want to build. Um, let's say sink, which vanity you sink, or a stack of drawers or just a plain cabinet, but how do you figure out your pieces? How do you get your measurements? Um, this For this one, we're gonna do pretty much the frame cabinet on how you start dealing your frames, how do you figure out your walls, how you figure out your floors, your back panels, and your supports. So we're gonna be talking about that all this in this video and um, hope, hopefully you guys find it useful. All right, so as you can see, we got a brand new sheet of notebook. We got a tape measure, obviously a pencil. I got the light right here, so we can see as clear as we can. So the cabinet that we're gonna be talking about, it would be 24 inch cabinet. Hopefully, you can, you can see my writing. Okay, so 24 inch cabinet. Um, standard no finish so we're gonna draw out the cabinet pretty much would be this right here the box this is the spot where the drawer goes and then this is the opening from here now just right here alone where we have the first question how do you determine what looks better on a cabinet depending on the size on the door, how many doors it would take? Standard, normally put two, two doors on a 24. If it starts going down under 20 or even 18, it's more your personal preference. You can do some real small doors or you could just do one big one. But from these sizes, better off you always go to two. You don't want it to have one giant door swinging across in the kitchen. So that's the first one. How many doors? How many doors? So that's the first one. From there, from the top, how much space you get right here? These are five inches. Standard size of a cabinet. 34 and a half. 34 and a half because granite takes uh, an inch and a half or for mica or whatever you decide to put. So 34 and a half plus one and a half will give you 36. That would be your total size for the for the cabinet with the granite finish. So now we're gonna figure out the frames right here. From the top of this one, you have one, two, three, four, five pieces for the frames. So for the first one, what we will call these uh, horizontals. So the horizontals are normally made, this one from one and a half, the top one, one and a half. The bottom one is also one and a half. The middle one right here is two inches. And I'll explain that right now as well. So we have one and a half, one and a half, two inches. The side ones as well, they were one and a half. And this one right here, one and a half. Now, going back to this one, why is this one two inches? Well, because right here we have the gap that's five inches, but for your lid, for your drawer, it takes away a half inch from the top, half inch from the bottom. But you also have your doors right here, which takes away a half inch from the top and a half inch from the bottom. So you take away a half inch, half inch, that limits it one inch already. And from two, you only have one inch of you right here, right in between the middle, which right here at the end, from the inch and a half, you will have one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch and one inch all around. And that will make the frame and the doors look all, how would you call it, uh, parallel to each other or everything unified. So how would you figure this out? The total of the cavity, we have 24. So you have inch. Are you explain that too? Yeah. Well, so for the total cabinet size, so, our total cabinet size is 24. But since we have an inch and a half, inch and a half, there'll be three inches. So these pieces 
would be 21. So we have, how would, uh, let's see, 21 by one and a half. That would be your top and bottom, but you need two pieces, so you'll put two. And then 21 by two inches for the middle one, and that's one piece. All right. And then for your uh, for your horizontals, no, your verticals, verticals. These are your horizontals. Now where the verticals would be 34 and a half. No. Correction, correction. My bad. 34 and a half is your total, but. This is where I forgot to explain this. In the cabinets, they have a toe kit, which is normally four and a half inches. So let's put this right here, four and a half. So 34 and a half minus four and a half will give you 30. So your, your verticals are 30 by one and a half, and you need two pieces of those. So these are your total five pieces for your, for your frames. So once you build your frame, this is just the front part, this uh, from here, we're gonna start working on the walls. So this is just for the frame part. So let's draw the line right here. That's your frame. Now we're gonna go with walls. Standard kitchen cabinet depth is 24 total. So the cabinet size will be, this one total will be 24 by 24 width, 34 and a half height by 24 deep. So 24 by 24. So now, when you build your frame, before you actually start assembling these pieces together, you have to groove it. There's uh, these discs that they're called the dados. So your wood standard uh, standard wood always comes around inch to a seven eighths. So that's where you would depend normally if it comes seven eighths. So if the wood, let's say the inch and a half is right here, you would groove this right here, this little part right here to, for the front to give you half inch. And on the side right here in this lip right here on the little side, you leave it a quarter. And whatever is left over, it goes to the inside. So you have one quarter away from the edge and then the front, which would be like the meat of the of the frame, you have half an inch, only half an inch. So if the frame is half an inch and your total is 24 deep, you take away half inch from the frame, from your walls. So it will give you 23 and a half by 34 and a half. And those are two pieces. Reason being, the left and the right side. Okay, and I'm sorry about the light. I have it on this side, so I know my hand blocks and makes a little bit of the shadow. But um, yeah, sorry about that. So your wall, let's draw out the wall. Will look kind of like this. You have your little toke right here. The toke right here, four and a half. Total height. 34 and a half and the depth right here will be 23 and a half so this is would be your wall now you do it for both sides as well you have to have two with the opposite side so this one without would be that side this one will be this side right here one took it opposite from the other um now we go from there from the floors but let me explain how you get the floors before we go you jump into the, cutting out the, the floors and i'll explain right now now from here from these walls you have to groove we do all our cabinets are grooved assembled as in if um as the word applies we groove all of our material so it can be assembled so from here for the back panel we groove a half inch inwards so like for example right here we'll leave a little bit on the back part right here on this little part half inch and then it will start the back wall reason being because we put back supports for the back panel and the material that we always work with is a half an inch plywood 
So from here, you groove, you put your dado and you groove half of the size of the plywood. So if it's a half inch, you'll do a quarter inch groove and then half inch inwards. And from here, you do five and a quarter height where this one's gonna start, five, one quarter. And now we'll groove this one down here, downwards. Now you, you do your five one quarter and your half inch in the back. And that will be for your floor and your back panel. Now, uh, clearing this area out now, we work on the floors. So right here, we'll put the divider and then the floor, FL. The floors, so if you have 24, you have a quarter inch on each side from this side and this side. So it gives you half inch. And we got a quarter from the plywood from the inside that you already grouped. So it'll be a half inch and half inch from both sides. So if the cabinet is 24, your floor will be 23, 23 width. By the depth, since we have 23 and a half, you take away a half inch from the back support and then a half inch from your uh, back panel. So we have 23 and a half minus an inch will be 22 and a half. And that will be your floor. But at the same time, when you're cutting this thing, the floor, you might as well, since you already have this measurement, take out your shelf. For example, these, we do our group, we do the shelves inside the cabinets assembled, grooved in. That way the, when you put the shelf, when you have the shelf inside the cabinet, it can withstand the weight. So we have the 23 width. And what you do standard for the base uh, shelf, we do it 14 deep, so. You'll do this with 14. So that's for your floor. Now the back panel, you can get it from this measurement right here. The groove from the height right here to right here is the same one as the frame, so it'll be 30 height. So right here, we'll cross this one out and then line this one out right here. Will be B, BP for back panel. Back panel, we already have the width, which is 23 and a half. Though your back panel is always with your back panel, your shelf, and your floor are always gonna have the same width. So we have 23 and a half, I mean 23 width by 30 height. Okay, so right there you already have your two floors, no, your two walls, your floor, your shelf, and the back panel. So from here, you, once you already have the frame, you already have it grooved out, you can build this cabinet right here. And that will complete what's your box cabinet. So this is your box cabinet from here. That's how you would get your measurements for this, for this part. From there, we jump to what you would consider the lid and the doors. So the lid, right here, you always give it five inches. We have 24, so minus three, it'll be 21. But since you have, so it'll be five, the opening by 21. The bottom right here is 20, 20 by 21. That will be for your doors. That's for your space for your doors. Now, another side note, it all depends on the hinges and the rails that you get. And if you want to see how you do the, how you can get your drawers, for depending on the type of rail, you can look at my YouTube channel. I have one that explains for undermounts and full extension rails. So for that, if you want to see how to get the measurements for those, uh, you can check that video out. Uh, but for now, we're just talking about for the what's the view for the box and the doors and the lid. So the lid, you have to add half an inch, half an inch up on the top and the bottom, half an inch on the sides. So since you have to do that, you add just an inch from the height and the width total. So we're at six height by 22. And that will be your lid. Now for the doors, since you want, first of all, since you're figuring out for two doors, you wanna figure out first what's your total width inch. Don't do the door separately and do the mat separately. So you have 20 height by 21 width. So you're gonna, is the, is the door is gonna be 21 height by 
22 width. Those are the doors. Now, since you're putting two doors, you want to divide this by two. Divide it by two, and it will give you 21 divided by two will be 10 and a half. 10 and a half by 22. No, correction, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. 21 is the height, my bad. The width is the 22. So if you divide the width is uh, 22, you divide it by two, it will be 11. So your doors, the width will be 11 width by 21 height. There it is. Move this a little bit this way. So that will give you for two doors. And then from there also, I do have another video to explain how you can figure, uh, how to get your pieces for your verticals, your horizontals on, on the doors and uh, the panel. But so for here, for this cabinet, all this will be to figure out that one cabinet. Now, if, of course, if you do it in production mode, you would have to put all these that are common. For example, um, if you have four base cabinets, you're not gonna do one by one for these, the, the walls, because they're all standard. So your standard sizes for mostly base cabinets will be around this one right here. So if you're gonna do four base cabinets that are 24 deep by 34 height, you can cut eight walls and have that out of the way. And then start working on your floors from the biggest to the smallest. Uh, whatever you can cut is standard. These are right here for the frames are standard as well. These are 30. So if you, let's say for example, let me draw another line right here. You have eight, eight cabinets eight bases, let's say B at BS right there. <laughs> so you have eight base cabinets, okay? So you need be 16, put it times right there, 16 of those times, which will be 34 and a half by 23 and a half. So right here, right off the bat, you already know you have needing 16 of those. For your eight bases so you can cut all those out of the way that would be what you consider production uh for your frames for those same eight ones you can cut 16 16 of the 30 by one and a half and those will be for your frames and then from there you start working on your way in so this is just for the basic cabinet i hope you guys find it inform uh, informative if uh, later on, as uh, more projects come out, we'll be talking about uppers, how to figure out your measurement for your uppers. It's kind of almost the same concept. It's just the difference that you have to add more floorings. And uh, we'll go into detail. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. And I'll see you guys next time.